Hello and welcome to our van tour. Today we will show you our self-converted Citroen jumper. We chose the long wheelbase with an extended body and super high roof so that we could fit a full-size bed and a separate seating area. Before building the van we created a 3D model. This helped us a lot as we did not have any prior building experience. Let's start with the kitchen area. Before we get into the van we take our shoes off and here we have some storage. Underneath we have a slide out fridge that can be accessed from the inside and the outside. It is a 40 liter top loading fridge that is powered by a 12 volt compressor. And as you can see we have installed a trash bin on the handle. While driving it is secured with a simple piece of wood that fits perfectly into the grooves of the aluminium profiles that we have used in the entire van build. Above the fridge is our induction cooktop which does not take up any space when it's not in use. We have added a cutting board and a drainer to our full size sink. This way we make most of the countertop space. The faucet also doubles as our shower head. The shower itself is made of a stainless steel tub that is only waist high. We store our dirty laundry here when we don't shower. We made a magnetized curtain that attaches to the tub and the wood ceiling with magnets on the other side. The shower head is also magnetic, so in the summer we can also shower outside. We have additional countertop space when the shower is not in use. And the small cupboard in the wall has space for our soap and some cooking oils. In the kitchen front we have installed an AC outlet for normal kitchen appliances. We have also added a 12 volt DC outlet. The control panel to our diesel heater, which gives us warm air and warm water, is also here. In the summer we can also heat up water by electricity only. The hot air outlet is located at the bottom. And some smaller items can be stored above the fridge. To store food and goodies we installed hanging cabinets in the front of the van. This is also where we put our control panel. Here we have our 4G hotspot, our solar panel kill switch, the battery kill switch, the battery monitor, the inverter charger control and the cleaning spray for the toilet that we couldn't find a better spot for. We decided on sliding doors because they are easy to install. They are lightweight and cheaper than hinged doors and they don't get in your way. Above the kitchen we also installed some sliding door cabinets. We have two light switches in the front and two in the back. They control four LED spots above the table and four LED spots above the bed. We use a separating toilet. Number one goes in the front and number two in the back. When it's closed, it serves as the steps to our bed. Above it, we have drawers for cutlery and kitchen paper and so on. Veggies and plates go on the right. There is more space underneath the bench. Above the drawers we charge our electronics. This is also where we place our laptops when we want to watch a movie. Our table is fixed in place, but it can be moved around in all directions, so it's not in our way. We have more storage space in the bench and also in the raised floor. Shoes and bulky stuff go here. Also added two cup holders between the bench and the front. 
The fan is installed in the front, above the table and the two swivel seats. We left the storage above the cockpit untouched. But we added a curtain that gives us some thermal and visual protection. It is made of two fabrics and it attaches to the B-pillar with magnets. We like to cook and found the perfect spot for spices in our sliding door. For the window, we created a cover that also attaches with magnets and can be folded away. Our bed fits two people comfortably and our clothes are stored behind sliding doors. We kept the outside pretty minimal without any outlets. Our electrical connection is located in the engine room. This gives us protection against rain and theft. Under the bed we have a slide out drawer. We use standard size boxes that can be accessed individually. Our freshwater tank is located above the right wheel well. The freshwater inlet is also located on the inside. Behind the sliding drawer is the diesel heater and our boiler. Behind our bikes on the left is the electrical compartment with a self-assembled lithium battery that is powered by four solar panels mounted on the roof. And that's it for our little tour. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.